Um, yeah, I don't think I saw that coming. It's, um, so I did. Um, we have a preliminary round, and I did a really. I was really happy with my set routine, my first routine. My second routine, I was a little bit disappointed with, so I qualified into the final in seventh. Um, but you know, we came here to to get into the final. That was like our target, and we got two in the final, and that was making history. We've never had a woman trampolinist from Britain get into an Olympic final before, and this time we got two. And so I was just, you know, went into the final with nothing to lose. And just I was like, I said to Tracy before my co uh, our national coach, I said, you know, what, I've got to give it everything. I've got to go for this. I'm gonna just, I'm like, I've got to do this. I've got to push my boundaries. I've got to try and get the best routine I can. And then um, I went up and smashed it. And I just, like, it's just the, the best routine I've done all year. And it did it at the perfect timing. And I was just so so happy. Like, I think you can tell at the end of my routine how happy I was that I knew that that was the best routine I could have done. And and also like holding in the motions because it was the last routine that you know it's, that's the end of the Olympics for us like so to finish on such a high um, was just incredible and that's what you know I came here to do was just do the best I can and, and then to win a medal is just unbelievable I, I need to like come up with a, a new word because I can't explain how it feels it's just absolutely amazing and just I can't believe it's uh, this is an Olympic medal around my neck right now and yeah definitely unexpected that it's silver and just amazing, just absolutely incredible. Uh, do you know, I don't know, I just thought I'd go back home and just see my friends and get back straight into training and stuff. <laughs> just shaking your head. Um, yeah, I have no idea what it's, it's like back home. Like the, Obviously the media here, everyone treating me very special and it's all very lovely and I have no idea what it's going to be like back at home. Like I've had a little bit of a glimpse, I've had a look at my Twitter um, for a few hours last night trying to like read through all the messages and it's just amazing seeing that people have been inspired by by me. That's just so such an amazing thing. I've, I always get inspired by watching athletes on the TV and people find me inspiring. I just think that's incredible and, and the fact that like I've seen some tweets that people have said that they've never seen trampling before and, and they got to start watching it and they were like, this is amazing. And, you know, other people said, oh, my six year old is, wants to start trampolining. Where can we get, you know, where can we join this club? And that's what the Olympics about for me, just inspiring people to kind of look at sport and, to, you know, get involved. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah, I just, you know, I love what I do and I'm, I like that. I'm, I do that in every single final. Um, I have that mental, mental approach, like, is. It's just, you know, I, I almost have that in, in all the routines that I do, but especially in the final, you just want to step it up and that's your last opportunity to kind of shine. And, um, you know, that's what it, you're, you're there to do. And I think I was like, I wanted to give it everything. It wasn't just, it wasn't like, oh, I've got to give it everything to get a medal. It was like, I've got to give it everything to do my best. And that's how I've approached each competition. So, you know, I think, yeah, I think I, I can do, you know, <laughs> I'd like to be able to think I can deal with that. So, yeah, because I just do it because I love it.